If your stay is ending in US and you have no hope of getting a green card and you don't want to live in uncertainty, you want a free education for your kids, you want free health care and you want a strong South Asian culture, you want to practice your religion in a multicultural society without fear then my friend this is the video you should watch too so government of canada has announced a checkmate checkmate strategy what is this strategy what are the details i'll share everything so hello friends this is satvinder bhatia from sukmani immigration services i'm a regulated and licensed canadian immigration consultant Today's video is very special because today I am going to talk about a new program which has been announced by Honorable Minister Sean Fraser. What is this new program? What are the details? I'll share everything with you. But before that, a request, if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit and please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload if you are an aspirant of coming to canada or your file is going on for canadian immigration my friend this is the channel you need to subscribe on to so without further delay let's move on to the new program which has been announced by canadian minister and this program will provide open work permit yeah you have never heard this kind of thing open work permit for us h1b visa holders so this open work permit will be for up to three years and no and here is the most important thing no job offer yes no job offer required nothing no job offer required no LMIA required and on the top of it you don't need tons of dollars for this program this is a wonderful program because the processing also will be very very quick and one important thing I want to share with you that there is a cap cap is quota maximum capacity the capacity of this program is 10,000 10,000 US H-1B visa holders. So a number may look big to you, but actually this is a very small number. Considering there are so many H-1B visa holders in US. So this number is very small in comparison to number of people who will be coming on this visa. So let me tell you why people want to come to Canada as compared to US because there are a lot of challenges and a lot of challenges are being faced by US H-1B visa holders. I can tell you because my previous background was also from IT and I have so many friends in IT and I talk to them on daily basis and I see what these challenges are being faced by them. So some of the challenges, the one of the biggest challenge faced by H-1B visa holder is dependence upon the employer the employer you are tied to the employer who has sponsored you you cannot work for any other employer other than the one who has sponsored you so this basically create a sense of dependency on the sponsoring employer if the employer fires you then you cannot be unemployed you cannot sit back you cannot keep hunting for a job the only option left for you is to go back leave the country so very very strong dependency on employer which leads to that you kind of suffocate in that organization because you cannot keep you cannot tell your details you cannot come up with your voice and that is why you tend to suffocate so this is dependency on the employer number one number two limited stay duration the h1b visa holder can stay in us only for three years so that three years visa you can renew once again and extend to six years so 
3 plus 3, 6 years, you can stay on H-1B visa. After this, you have three choices. One, you in that six years, you get H green card. Number two, you move to another visa in a USA. Or the third choice is you go back to the home country. So that's very problematic, very, very problematic. And there is no PR pathway. So green card is not easy. Getting a green card in the US is not at all easy. And everyone cannot get it. Simple as that. So, but the problem is returning home is also very difficult. Why? Why returning home is difficult? Because your work culture has changed. Now you are living in US and your lifestyle has changed. There is a change in lifestyle. So your kids may be born in US. Plus, you know, they are studying in US. Your spouses, they don't want to go back. They don't want to go back to the back home culture. They want to stay here. So that creates a lot of problem. So this is the challenges. Now let's move on to the benefits. Now benefits of new pathway which is announced by the Canadian immigration for US H-1B visa holders. There are numerous benefits, numerous. So I cannot put everything here, but some of the benefits, of course, the first benefit is you get three years open work permit. Open work permit means you can work for any employer. So pathway to PR. Once you are here in Canada on three years open work permit, there are so many options available for you, particularly for people who are in IT. So many options. You can easily get the PR here. So you are out of the clutches of employer and you can work for any employer as I have already mentioned you your spouses can also come with you your kids can also come with you your spouses will get open work permit your kids will get study permit and when they get study permit they can study free in Canada you will get the free health care SIM card so all these things are good but you will ask me a question, when is the program starting? So program is starting next week. Next week the program is starting. 16th July the program is going to start. And next question you will ask me is what is the fee? So the government fee is $155 and biometric fee is $85. Government is yet to announce the complete details of it but this is the basic fee there could be some add-ons also but this is the basic fee now one question you will ask how long it will take the processing time is very fast maximum two months and that's what honorable minister sean fraser announced so this is the time frame now one important thing as i said to you is there is a cap maximum quota so my friend please act fast prepare everything in advance act fast so that you can get through this program so government of canada has not released any kind of portal yet any kind of uh, forms or any kind of portal or any kind of information yet they will do that eventually but as of date they have not so they have also not provided any kind of checklist but we from our experience and from our prior knowledge we have made a document checklist and if you want that checklist you can reach out to our office give a call and we can help you with that if you need to discuss your case please book an appointment and we can look through your case more than welcome to do so and one important thing our office is located in Brampton, address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. Very important. If you have not subscribed still to the channel, please consider subscribing. Our team puts lots of effort to bring all this information to you. And thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.